Hey everybody, so today I am here to share with you guys a fall clothing haul. Honestly, this is probably also gonna be most of the girls winter clothes as well, because they really just probably won't need much other than holiday clothes, maybe some new winter boots and new winter jackets. Other than that, we're pretty set. If you're new to my channel or my videos, hi, my name's Alia. I have three daughters, ages almost seven, five, and two. I'm gonna try and link everything down below for you guys. I know I might not get every single thing, but I will do my best, especially with things like shoes or you know, whatever. Anyways, so the first set of clothes I want to show you guys is specific to different photos I want to take. I wanted to take some pictures of the girls for the beginning of the school year and then also later in the fall. So I got them outfits to kind of go with each other. So like I said, these clothes that I'm about to show you are for the back to school kind of photos. We homeschool. So this might not seem like a lot of clothes or it might seem like a lot to you, but this is more than enough to get through fall and winter homeschooling we don't really go anywhere because of the pandemic so most of the time my kids just like to chill in their pajamas their disney nightgowns that kind of thing so uh it's very rare that someone has pants on in this house besides myself <laughs> so uh to start off lexi's shirt is this little peplum top it's so silky soft and this is from kohl's all three of these shirts and then i got kind of a similar top for Remy and this is a green one and it's not really a peplum I'm not sure what this style is called but it's kind of similar and then for Sophie she has the same exact shirt as Remy except in this pink color I guess like maybe more of like a raspberry but I thought all of these colors together and with that kind of flowy bottom look it'd be so cute I want to take pictures of each of them individually and then together so I thought that was a really cute set so I'll link these together and then also the fall clothes together and then everything else will go down by child so as far as the fall clothing goes I'm very excited about these outfits because they just I feel like they complement each other so well whoops sorry knocked my camera anyways I think that these outfits complement each other so well first up is little miss Lexi she's got this pant and shirt set so this shirt is like a I cannot talk today burnt orange almost kind of brown color with this eyelet detail down here and then the leggings I absolutely love with just different colored fall flowers on there and then with Remy I got this outfit for her so another pant and shirt set too and this might not look super cute me holding it up but it was darling on the website you're kind of not able to see everything because it's so flat <laughs> from being shipped to me but it was a really cute outfit so it's just this like pinstripe blue top that has a little belt down here ruffles down the side and then she also has some fall flower leggings as well that go really nicely with it and then lastly I got this dress for Sophie now on the website it kind of looked like a different material but this is actually pretty stretchy and really soft which I'm not complaining about I actually prefer this kind of fabric for the girls because it's just you know more play friendly and they're more comfortable in it so it's got this um like tie over skirt so there's a little bit of dimension to it and then I think there's pockets somewhere on here and then it also does have a tie as well so kind of hard to tell but I thought again these all went super well together and I think I know Mark has a nice cream colored sweater that will pull out Lexi's leggings really nice and I think thanks to you guys on Instagram I'm either gonna wear something similar to Remy's blue or like a deep navy something like that so those were the different sets of clothes i want to share with you guys now we'll just go from youngest to oldest starting with lexi who like i said is two years old so starting with gap because i only just bought a couple things from there i got her two sets of pajamas the first one being this disney princess one and she's not really big into the disney princesses yet but she does know who they are thanks to her older sisters and i thought this set was just so precious i mean honestly i feel like gap pajamas in themselves are so cute but I just really like the way that the princesses were done on here they almost look like watercolor paintings or something and also anytime anything has Tiana on it we buy it because we love Tiana in this house she's one of our favorites and she's just not on a whole lot and then the next one are buzz pajamas I think these are technically um, boys but they do come up with the girls I feel like Gap 
and Old Navy do a pretty good job with that now. Whether you're searching in either section, they will recommend stuff from the other gender on there as well. So these pizza alien Buzz pajamas, I know she is going to love because Buzz is still her favorite. She still loves Toy Story. So that was everything from Gap. Just got her a couple pairs of pajamas. And then from Target, am I really? Wow. Okay. She only got one thing from Target. That is surprising. Um, I feel like I need to go tell my husband because he's going to be so impressed. I got her this little dress and the material is very light and very soft. I just thought it was super, super cute. And then let's go with Walmart. That's the next to the last one that has the most. So I got her a couple of basic things. I got her this ruffled white shirt. So at the end of the sleeves and also at the hem, it has the ruffles, which honestly it has to do with her Halloween costume, but either way, she'll still wear it. And I wanted to show that because they had other colors as well, if you like that detailing. And then I just got her a pair of some leggings. Lastly, from Walmart, I got her some shoes. Now with her being the third baby, she doesn't technically need any shoes, but this is the last time that I get to buy shoes this small. So hear me out. They were just too cute, right? So I don't know which ones I wanna show off first because I think they're both so stinking cute. I'm just gonna show you at the same time. So I got these boots that are white and they're like that leatherette, you know, Doc Martin lookalikes. They also have other colors as well. I think like a deep pink color, kind of like my sweatshirt and then also um, a black. But we got white because again, something to do with her Halloween outfit. And also I just feel like these will really go no matter what outfit she's wearing in the fall time. And then I did get her some tennis shoes. So she loves the Blue's Clues ones that I showed in our spring clothing haul. She's wearing those right now. Those ones fit her super good. So these are in the next size up and they have the Paw Patrol ladies on there. Not Everest, it's Sky and Liberty. Liberty's from the new movie. She loves Paw Patrol right now. She calls them Dodos dogs are dodos. It's the cutest thing ever. So I thought these were so stinking cute from Walmart and they were only like 12 or 13 bucks. Obviously not like the best quality ever. I can like the weight of them. I can feel like if they wore them every day, they'd get run down pretty quickly. But like I said, we don't really go anywhere. So honestly, these will stay pretty nice probably. And then lastly for Lexi, I got her a few things from Kohl's. Again, she has so many hand-me-downs, you know, leggings, pajamas, holiday stuff, things like that. So like with Lexi and Remy who get hand-me-downs, I do try to just fill in with character stuff that they personally, personally enjoy. Talking is hard today. I'm having such a struggle. So I got her this shirt from Kohl's that says Girls Empower Girls. And I also size up at Kohl's. So I feel like Looking at those shirts right now, I'm like, oh, those are a little big. But once you wash and dry them, they do shrink a good bit. And then I got her this tie-dye shirt, which I thought was just the cutest. I love those colors. And I thought there was a mark on there, but it was actually just the tag sticking through, shining through. And the last two things are, again, Paw Patrol related. So I saw this sweatshirt and I just had to. It says one of a kind on there with Sky. So I need to get her some navy leggings. And then lastly for Lex, this one with Liberty and Sky on there. And it says small but mighty, which is very fitting for her. So I'm very excited. I was also really excited to see Liberty on stuff. You know, she's like a big component of that new movie. And I feel like all the merch and even like food and stuff right now, just anything that has the Paw Patrol movie on there, they don't put Liberty on and I don't understand it. Anyways, that is everything for Little Miss Lexi Dean. I know for sure I'll be able to link the shoes for you guys. Everything off Kohl's, Gap, Carter's, um, trying to think, everything like that. The Walmart clothes is where it gets a little sticky, like the basic kind of stuff. They only really sell like leggings or those basic shirts in like big packs, but look at your store. They might have something for you. So moving on to Little Miss Remy. Now, as far as shoes go for the older girls, they're still wearing their Crocs from the spring clothing haul. They still fit. They're working well. We love those shoes from spring, summer, fall because they really do great. Just throw some socks on with the Crocs. I know some people hate that, but it works. And uh, like I said, they might need new winter boots, but that's something that we'll get to whenever it starts 
freezing, snowing, icing outside. So to start off with her, I think we're gonna start with Target. I did wanna mention that I also got the older girls the two pack of black leggings from Target as well, but we already had to break into those because it has been starting to cool off here. So I already opened those. I will link them as well, but they're black leggings. You know what they look like, but they are cheaper to buy them like that than separately. I just feel like you can't ever have enough black leggings. So these are her three pairs. Now online, I swear this was uh, like this deep orange color and black, but it's actually navy. So I have a navy shirt coming for her to match that just a plain basic navy shirt. And then these black and white, well, black hearts, white background. And I know, I know these are probably going to stain, but you know what? doesn't matter. I just want a cute picture like one time and she'll love them. And then these panda leggings. Pandas are her favorite. So of course I had to. And then... This is the last thing from Target for Remy. I got her a Tiana sweatshirt. So anytime anything is character, I always size up. I feel like character clothing, no matter the store, always seems to run smaller, but especially at Target. Whether it's pajamas, shirts, dresses, I do not care. Always size up because I feel like they run like really, really small. So I got her a size up in this and I know she's gonna be so excited because she loves Tiana. Next, let's start with Walmart. So I got her these leggings that I actually saw because of Sarah's video. She also did a clothing haul for her girls. So I'll link Sarah's video and check out her channel. She does amazing content as well. But her little girls got these leggings, I believe, as a gift from their grandma. And I was like, those are so stinking cute. So I was really glad to find these at my Walmart. And then I just got a basic teal shirt to go with that. And also I thought it'd be super cute to go with the black and white hearts. Oh yes, I really like that. So something Sarah said in her video was that when she's buying clothes for her kids, she always makes sure that she has a top and a bottom or like a complete outfit. And I was like, actually, I really need to do that because I'm really bad. Anytime I buy them like a top or something or, you know, really cute leggings, I'm like, oh, we have something at home that'll go with that. And I almost like never have something at home to go with that. You know, for instance, this sky hoodie that I got Lexi, you know, you could easily enough throw gray leggings under it or whatever. It doesn't have to be that complicated. But if you like wanting to match something, we don't have navy leggings. I don't think my girls have ever owned a pair. So uh, that was a great tip from her. I want to pass it along. Thank you, Sarah, because I definitely try to keep that in mind while shopping for the girls. And then lastly, I got their fall jackets from Walmart. I saw these in store, didn't have my kids sizes. So if you didn't know, open your Walmart app and scan the barcode of something with the little barcode scanner in the search bar and it'll pull it up the listing online so that's what I do if I see something and they don't have my kids size sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I was able to buy these offline they were only 15 bucks right it doesn't say but I'm almost 90% sure that they were $15 and they're lined with a really really thick fleece like it feels like a like a north face or a columbia jacket or something so i thought these would be perfect for the fall time they needed new fall jackets they've grown out of the ones that they had so very happy with those and they're so so cute and then lastly i've got two character shirts from kohl's that i got for her so i got her this tiana shirt this is the one that i showed her it says my dream my future and i just love tiana on here look at that just fierceness. I love it. I love all the little details with the Jumping Beans Disney collabs, like the little sequence down here on the flower. I have not, I know there was one year I did a clothing haul and I had so many shirts from their collab and guys, it, none have lived up to that ever since. Like they've released, I feel like a few shirts here and there that we've gotten, but that year they were on fire and I wish that they would just do it again because my girls love that stuff. They really do. Like Sophie still wears her Ariel shirt. And then lastly for Remy, all together, this is the very last thing. I got this from the boys section at Kohl's. If you don't know, Remy loves Mario, something fierce, and her favorite color is orange. So I got this one for her and she squealed and squealed when she saw that. So without further ado, let's do Little Miss Sophie. 
So Sophie is going to be seven here in just a couple months and uh, she's into all things dinosaur and space really. So science generally. So that's what I'm going for here. And honestly, as far as like other stuff goes, she still likes Elsa and that's about it. I feel like we're slowly getting out of the character phase with her. You know, for her birthday, she wants a dinosaur birthday party and she wanted a space birthday cake. Like no characters whatsoever, which is very strange. Can't believe I'm gonna have a seven-year-old. When we had Sophie, we had friends who had a seven-year-old. Like her birthday party was around the same time Sophie was born and I was thinking, wow, so crazy to have a seven-year-old and here I am. So the very first thing from Gap, same time I bought the pajamas, I got Sophie this dinosaur shirt. Now I specifically wanted to buy just long sleeves because the girls still have plenty of short sleeves, but this was just too, too cute for me to not. Sophie said recently one of her new favorite colors is yellow and I just thought this was the cutest dinosaur shirt and she would really like just geek out and really love that. So got that for her. And then, oh, I forgot to mention. So for Remy, I ordered these Minecraft pajamas. They're not going to be here for a couple more weeks. So I will still link them down below. Just know you might be waiting on them for a little bit. But she wanted Minecraft pajamas and those look super cute. So I got her those. And I got those off of Amazon. And I also got these off of Amazon. These are actually a collab between Amazon's brand and Disney. But they are Elsa pajamas. So the girls still wear all of those Disney nightgowns that I've shown in previous hauls. They still fit in all of them. I don't think we've had to get rid of a single one yet because of size. So they still wear those. They still fit in them. So I really just got them a pajama each just to kind of, you know, get them excited for the season change and stuff. But I thought these were so cute pretty reasonably priced and they feel like good quality and honestly that's why I buy the Gap pajamas for Lexi. I feel like as a toddler they're really hard on pajamas for whatever reason and the Gap and Old Navy pajamas have held up really well but just always buy them on sale obviously and also Gap Factory. I love shopping there too. So next up we will do Target for Sophie and I only got her two pairs of leggings from there. I got her these space ones which i thought were super cute with the pink and the dark kind of gold color and then i got her these science leggings that are just too stinking cute and she loves both of them so much and then again i know that i was sticking the long sleeve but i saw this space shirt and i could not she loves saturn so anytime i see anything with saturn on it i'm like i have to get it for her I don't know why <laughs> I'm just so excited she's growing up and she's so interested in this stuff I just you know anyways and then next up I also got her a sweatshirt as well but this one is Ariel it says part-time mermaid full-time princess again just sized up and I think these are supposed to be a little bit shorter sweatshirts like right a little bit higher and the sleeves are definitely a lot longer than the hem is but you know it's whatever I only got her one thing from Kohl's and I got her this Jurassic Park shirt. She does like the Jurassic Park Camp Crustaceous on Netflix. She really likes that show. I believe this was also in the boys section and it's blue too, which is also her favorite color. So the girls were really excited. I found those Mario and Jurassic Park shirts for them. And lastly, it's just Walmart for Little Miss Sophie. So I got her the same sweatshirt well, not sweatshirt, but like jacket type thing from Walmart. All of this stuff is from Walmart. Again, bought that online. And then I did get her a couple pairs of leggings from Walmart. So I got her the same heart ones that her sister's ha her sister has. And then I got her just a pair of gray ones. So you'll notice that Sophie has some of like the more normal staples, like plain shirts, plain pants, like these gray sweatpants from Walmart. And you know, that just comes with being the oldest and having to get this kind of thing. But I really like these sweatpants. It is the Athletic Works brand from Walmart. They were just sitting out at mine. They had plenty. I really like them. They hold up really well. They're super soft. And then lastly, I just got her a few plain shirts to go with the different leggings that I got. So she got like this mustard kind of shirt. And then she got this burgundy type of shirt 
And then this is another Athletic Works top, but I got her this teal one because I thought it would go really well with the uh, science leggings that I got from Target. But yeah, that is actually everything for our fall clothing haul. I feel like that went a lot faster than normal, <laughs> but I feel like this year I'm better at judging what we need to get through a year kind of at home, not really going out too much and, you know, just getting them excited for the new seasons and everything that's coming up. I know back to school has started for a lot of kiddos. We are starting this week with our homeschooling. So I hope back to school has gone well for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.